Hello, it's Steve from Link Alchemist. In this video, I want to go over the scheduling part of Link Alchemist and explain what the schedules do, what the statuses mean, and go over the type of scheduling we have within the software. On the main campaign screen, we can click the campaign and we see a list of schedules we have set up. The initial schedules have statuses. The not started status is where we have set up a schedule, but it has not yet executed. So for example, if we set up a schedule to start on the 10th of May, 2015, the software is not running so the schedule cannot trigger then the schedule will show as not started when we create a new schedule it initially shows as set up and the reschedule status is where a schedule has triggered so it has started the processes behind the scenes and rescheduled itself again to trigger the process on a new date. Within the statuses, what you will see is a status will trigger, it will set to running, and then rescheduled within five to seven seconds. This is because all that the schedule does is trigger a process to run in the background so the this means the front end is basically a scheduler which runs other processes but for the schedules to run the PC needs to be turned on as the local date and time on the machine is used to trigger the schedules so let's add a new link campaign I'll call this hypnosis you click save here we see the settings screen I will add some URLs into the URL list I'll add some text into the keywords and I'll add some a small description into the description field Note that on the screen we have a use drip mode and a use recycle drip mode. These values are used when we create a new schedule. The same with the drip feed period. So in the screen, I can click this to check how many URLs I got. I got 15 URLs. First thing I need to do is click save campaign. And notice the values for the recycle mode when I exit. I go back into the settings again and they default back to the standard defaults. The only things that save are the keywords and URLs in the list. This is because when we create a new schedule, drip mode settings that is saved with the schedule. So any changes that are made within the settings screen will not affect what has already been saved. So on this screen, we will set recycle mode. As you can see, we've got 15 URLs. So our links per day is how many of the links within our URL list we want to process. So if we pick 70 or 90, when we create the new schedule, you will see that it goes back down to 15 as you only have 15 URLs. If you wish to process more URLs per day, you can copy the URLs in, in the list, add these to the end, and we can check we've now got 30, so we can process 30 max 
per day. So these links per day is how many links in the URL list we want to process, not how many links we want to build to the links within the URL list. So if you look, we've got 30, I choose 98 using recycle drip mode, which will process these 30 links and then add these 30 links back to our, our links file to be reprocessed. So I can create a new schedule. As you can see, we've got 30 and 30, and our drip feed period was 30 as well, which means this campaign will run for 30 days. It will generate new content links to our 30 URLs. And once this schedule has completed, which is 30 days time, if you set up an email, you will receive an email which states that the campaign has completed. So we click save schedule data. Notice the date and time. We can close the screen. And as we can see, we have some schedules created. If we want to edit a schedule because it has been missed, we simply right click the schedule, edit schedule, then we set a different date or time, then simply save again, and that schedule is resaved. I've had lots of questions on if the schedules are cloud based, which they are not. They are all, all of these schedules use the local machine time and date. So the software needs to be running on that time and date. But if you only want the software to run, say between nine and five per day, simply go into the schedule, click edit, and set this for a time so we have choose 9.24 and then save. And this will run at 9.24, then we schedule itself to run again at 9.24 the day after. So we set our schedules to run in the time frame we want, but we need the software to be running to trigger the processes that run behind the scenes. So for example, the if you want to run a ping schedule, what this does, it triggers the background task to generate pings to the URLs in the lists. So that is the scheduling. If you have any questions, please send me an email or contact me on Facebook. Thank you.